super cool party people and welcome back to the vlog it is monday morning it is cold today and uh it is just before seven that was the last thing i wanted to convey i am currently exporting the vlog and the thumbnails ready to go it was a hard morning for me this morning like normally like i get up the alarm goes off at six and i go i'm gonna snooze for five minutes and then i get up within about three but this morning i was like i'm gonna snooze for five minutes and i was like don't you dare snooze anymore because you're not gonna get up so i feel like i was a little bit behind i was a little bit slow getting downstairs getting my drink and getting this started but we have got there now i mean at this point i'm awake and i'm fine but i feel like a nap might be needed today i did not it took me forever to get to sleep last night like i flipped and i flopped and i was too hot and i was too cold and i changed my pajamas because i was like maybe my pajamas are just bugging me and i kicked off a blanket and then i switched to that blanket and like it was it was rough I flipped a pillow, I flipped it back, I switched a pillow, like you name it. I was mm, trying everything and it was not working. But I did get to sleep in the end. I slept a little bit longer than yesterday, I think, but still not great quality of sleep, I don't think. So that's where we're at. But now that the vlog is up, I can definitely, or not up, but doing its thing, I can definitely slow it down, be chill this morning. Like, I haven't even finished my breakfast drink. I normally have that right away at 6, and I've just, I just opened it. So, we're obviously moving glacially today, but that is okay. I think what I'm gonna do now is get ready for the day, I think. And then maybe do a blog post because I didn't do one yesterday because I ended up reading instead of doing one. And um, it's ironic because I like routine and I always talk about routine on my blog. And it's because I did not write a blog post yesterday morning after I finished editing the vlog. Which I'm apparently not going to do right now because I want to get rid of the zombie <laughs> today. I feel like it's going to be a zombie day. I also feel like it might be a long day at work. Who knows? I, I've mentioned before I just go, you know. I think today is going to take me six hours. It's so arbitrary. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to start getting ready because otherwise I won't. And I will check in with you shortly. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I'm feeling very far behind. It is 7.25. It's actually 7.24, but I was like, just round up. And I was like, how do I round up? It's my brain's working well. My bed is still unmade, but my bag's almost packed. But normally I feel like I would be woo, 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 still going pretty strong right now, but I just don't feel like it. I could maybe start a blog post, probably wouldn't finish. First thing, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm going to tape my knee up because that was a mistake that I made yesterday. So I made sure to get the tape ready to go. So I'm gonna do that. And then if I have some time, perhaps then I will do some other stuff. But we also, my mom and I wanna put this up before I leave for work so that's on the list as well so yeah we'll see I don't know it's just a slow day today and I think it might just be a slow day today you know well I am at the theater and honestly I kind of feel like I live here now and it's only gonna get worse like this is a slow month <laughs> so like I had like an entire week off last week basically and now I think it just goes crazy like it doesn't help that i have other things in my calendar like people's birthdays and the vancouver boat show and that kind of stuff but i have a feeling that i'm gonna just kind of start living here starting um you know i'd say march doesn't look so bad but we haven't done the schedule for march yet so it probably does look bad i know that it just gets worse and worse and worse and like i already feel like i'm living here we're only on day two of five and i just <sighs> I'm just over it <laughs> and I know it's just gonna get worse. I need to go on a vacation. <sighs> I've been, I, I'm sure I mentioned it, I talked to Pam about like when's a good time to come down to Florida and we were thinking like maybe I could come down and they live just north of Orlando so instead of me going up there to visit they could come down, we could split a hotel room, we could all go to Disney World together. So that's my thought because the warmth would be nice, not being at work would be nice, and Disney would be nice too. I've thought about going to Disneyland because it is cheaper to get there and it's cheaper to go there, 
but I have friends in Orlando, so that also makes sense. But yeah, anyway, this is, this is, this is, this is the struggle lately. I'm also already hungry and like, it's not even eight, it's five to eight. I had my breakfast drink. I probably start drinking it like just before seven. So like, I shouldn't be hungry yet, but I think it's just because I haven't been sleeping the greatest the last couple nights. So that's been a thing. Anyways, I should really just stop rambling and get to work because, you know, as I always say, the sooner I get started, the sooner I can leave. But I just have no motivation, especially knowing I have to come back three more times this week. Four more times this week. I just happen to have one day off in between. Uh, uh. <laughs> Have you ever heard somebody complain so much about work? It's not, I like, honestly though, I like my job. It's cool. It's pretty chill. I can take my sweet time if like I'm having a down day. My boss is always like, it takes as long as it takes to get done whatever you need to do. So like if I'm having a day where I'm like dragging my feet and the struggle is very real, it's cool. He gets it. He understands that people are people. He's like, you need mental health day? You take mental health day. So that is fantastic. So, you know, on days where I'm actually like, this is the worst thing ever. If I only do like half my job and then come back the next day and finish the rest, he's cool with that. If it's a day where I know that I can get away without doing my thing that day, some days I just won't come in and then I will leave that to the next day kind of thing. So like, there's so much flexibility cons compared to like other jobs that I've had, it's, it's cool. And like same with Blind Channel in the summer. I mean, it's not as flexible because you're out there for like three months at a time. But you know, if I'm like, I just, can I just leave for a couple? I need to go change or something. My boss is like, yeah, whatever, I'll chill here. You know, even though I, I, I never ask, I always just like hint like, oh man, I'm so hot or I'm so cold. And he'll be like, go up to the house and change. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, I am just rambling for no reason now. I'm gonna go before I just continue to do this and start my day. I kind of called it this morning that I was probably gonna want a nap when I got home from work, but I wasn't sure at the time, but now I'm definitely sure. It is about 2.30. I got off around 12.30. And then we went for lunch for my mom's boyfriend's birthday because it's his birthday. Duh. And then I went to the grocery store to pick. I, I have a gift card because I got one from work for Christmas <laughs> and I have not spent it. And so I picked up a couple things from the grocery store, but it's not a grocery store I normally go to. So it's kind of like had to go my way to go there. And I still have like over half the gift card left. So we'll be going back again at some point. But I'm just, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go to sleep for a little bit because clearly I need it and like obviously my intention of waking up at six in the morning is not to have a nap later in the day but it's going to be a long week I'm only on day two done at work of six with only one day off in between so yeah sleep needs to happen I just noticed that half of my garland fell down again <laughs> I wonder when that happened I wonder if I was asleep when that happened did I just not notice it this morning I don't know Anyways, clearly I have no focus, so I'm gonna go nap for a bit and I will check in with you when I return from the land of the slumber. Hola, I am awake. It is just about six. I didn't really sleep a lot. I put on a movie because I'm like, oh, I've seen this movie before, I'll fall asleep. And then I was like, oh, or I'm just gonna watch it. So then I had to switch and I was like overheating and whatever. But I did get a little bit of a nap, I know, because I had some weird dreams. And, um,. I got it probably around five-ish, and then I took all my makeup off because I was a responsible person who fell asleep with it on. And, um, yeah, I think I should probably feed myself soon. My mom and her boyfriend went out for dinner for his birthday, which is totally cool. I picked up some bacon earlier, so I might do some bacon and potatoes and onions in, like, a skillet. So good. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. We will see. And, um, yeah. Is that really all I had to say? I don't know. I've got stuff to do on my list because I didn't really do anything on my list this morning other than edit and upload my vlog because I was just not so much with it. Like, I mean, obviously I had a nap, but I didn't make my bed. Part of it was because I was like, maybe I'll have a nap. But I would like to make that and tidy up my room a bit. I should, ooh, maybe I should have a bath tonight or just shower. One of those things needs to happen. And I wanna write a blog post because I did not do a blog post yesterday, but I have a topic to write about. 
so there's that and then hopefully write a chapter of my book I just I really I was looking at my goal board today and one of the things on my goal board is to finish adding all the chapters into this book and so once I do that I can actually cross something off my list which would be phenomenal so I would like to do that soon I don't know if it's gonna happen this month because it is the 27th and there are only a few more days left in this month but it might so that's where we're at I'm gonna just finish watching this YouTube video and decide if I want to make food at that point oh a thing <laughs> one of the things I want to do more this year on my channel is shout out creators that I watch and that I like because like I don't know I got a weird sense of humor so if I like someone maybe you like someone so there's this one girl her name is Makara Tours and um, I'll try to remember to link her down below tomorrow morning but no promises because 6 a.m. is early but I found her because she did sewing tutorials but they're hilarious and the editing is just aces but she recently bought an RV because that was her dream car and um has decided to move to Florida for half the year like a retired old lady and she's like gotta be like 20. <laughs> she's good you should check her out anyway with that gonna get back on track gonna get over here and um I want to do something productive today so let's try to do that bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time okay so here's the situation one I really do not trust my Joby gorilla tripod with this camera ever since I got my bigger camera I've just been like exclusively using my Manfrotto because it's like it's a little bit sturdier this one uh, it's fine so it is 20 after, it's 25 after 9 right now. Why did I say that weird? I could have just said 9.25. Whatever, <laughs> this is my life. Don't judge me for it. I just decided to open up my book, book two. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it the other day, but there was a part where I was working on a chapter, but this whole time I've been like, is that a good chapter to have? Should I get rid of it does this make sense I don't know and so I like wrote one of the chapters there but then I had to add another one and I'm like is this even progressing the story at all probably not and more so than that it wasn't in line with the character like the thing that was happening it's not what she would do in that situation so I was like does this even make sense I, t I wrote a note I put it on my wall so I can stare at it and then the next chapter I got to that I had to write was more of the same it was like the second it was like I don't know like nine chapters later but it was like a second iteration of that same thing so I was like does this even make sense should I even write this I was like you know what? I'm gonna skip this so I just went I have a notebook where I have whatever the chapter is that I need to add in and or fix or whatever but because I've added so many chapters in I'm so confused I have no idea what chapter is what half of them are changed half of them aren't it's yeah it 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 was not enjoyable so I just went through and I scrolled to see if there was like any massive spots but I think that the other things that I need to fix aren't complete rewrites or additions they're just fixes so I think what I need to do oh you know how I said yesterday that I was like lifting weights and doing squats and stuff my legs are really hurting today um so what I think I'm gonna do is give up on fixing all the chapters that I need to fix really think about this book and, I'm, and just start editing again and go through and be ruthless like is the first sentence any good should I change it I'm, I just want to go like line by line by line and pick this thing apart get rid of the chapters that don't make sense get rid of things that don't progress the story because on top of the things that don't make sense with the character 
there's also this thing has ballooned to like 140,000 words 140,000 words give me a second I can give you a reference so 140,000 words is like halfway between the size of the prisoner of Azkaban and Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince halfway between the two sides of these books probably closer to this one this one's 168 169,000 this one's 107,000 Book one is shorter than this, and I don't want to balloon to like close to this. And if I add those extra chapters, it's gonna be this. So I, um, yeah, I think I really need to look at this and just, I just feel like I've been stagnating, stagnating it, stagnating on it for so long that I've just lost to the side of the story and I'm just like, add more, add more, add more. So I think I just need to go through and like slash, destroy, etc. So that's okay <laughs> because this month's almost over so it'll be good for me to just start next month with some actual goals like 2,000 or 5,000 words to edit a day get through it do it again get through it do it again I was hoping that this was going to be my last edit but honestly at this with the state of this book right now there's no way this is going to be my last edit so that's fun but that is fine because at least I'm coming to this realization and that's gonna be a good thing so I want to get the word count down a bit word count doesn't really matter to me but even though like I do use it as a judge for when I'm editing or when I'm writing just so like I can have a goal to hit word count doesn't really matter to me but I feel like this is just a very bloated story right now granted if I finish and I edit it and it's hundred and fifty thousand words and it is an amazing hundred and fifty thousand words aces we're good we'll go with it but right now I really don't think it is so that's where we're at I'm glad that I can finally like, give a real update on this book other other than like oh I sat down and I didn't do anything and I sat down and I didn't do anything so I've had I have for like five days this week to write a chapter and finish writing a chapter I think I'm just gonna switch that to set February writing goals and if I end up you know starting to work on it before the end of the month that or before the new month that is fine too but honestly at this point I'm just like are you kidding me I hate everything <laughs> yeah so I'm excited about some things though I was thinking about it last night some of the stuff in the latter half of the book because I feel again and I'm sorry if I'm rambling and I'm sorry if you're not interested in this but I feel like the start of the book is more bloated than the end of the book and even last time I edited it through the like first couple chapters I was like god I hate this and then I got into the following chapters and deeper and deeper and I'm like wow I really enjoy the story I really like the story so yeah I think I just need to be vicious which is not something I am good at I'm a very wordy writer ask my Harry Potter fan fiction that's like 408 pages long it's longer than the longest Harry Potter book by like four or five thousand words don't worry about it <laughs> actually I would say it's even longer than that because I started writing it from or yeah anyway it was bad but it was good like you can see my writing style change throughout all 400 and some odd pages so yeah I like words I'm very verbose give me words give me words give me words all the time I just like to like and this and that and this and that and I don't need to I need to streamline a little bit more I learned how to do that with my like academic essays I need to take those skills and beat them into this book so that's where we're at I got about half an hour before I'm gonna climb into bed I showered obviously and I feel so good I just got water in my eye because my hair is still wet the thing about having like curly or damp hair wow I'm just tangenting everywhere the thing about having like curly hair is that you don't want to like dry it dry it because it needs moisture and so like try not to use hot hot water and try not to like really play with it and try not to like towel dry it so we're just a little damp but it is fine anyways I'm gonna go and I'm gonna putter and try to do a little bit of stuff before I um do like actually get ready to climb into bed I hope I can sleep well tonight because I haven't slept well the last couple nights and having a nap even though it was a crappy and short nap probably won't help things and I am up again at six tomorrow so yeah just gonna putter for a bit maybe I'll read because I haven't done any reading today, get inspired <laughs> to deal with that. And um, I'll check in with you just before bed. Alrighty, and with that, we have reached the end of the night. It's quarter after 10 now. I just read for like close to 45 minutes, and it's cool because I'm like feeling pretty tired now. So hopefully I will be able to get to sleep right away. I've just got my hair pinned back, hoping that it dries a bit. I don't know. Hair. 
<laughs> anyway, with that, I'm gonna end the vlog here because I gotta upload my footage and then climb into bed. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.